Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, Slasher Movie Club, Monday nights. Here we go, Coriander. What's going on? Not much. How you doing? Doing pretty good. All right. Okay. Good. All right. Let's <laughs> come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see what we have in the chat. Uh, this could be one of those nights. Let's see what we got. Uh, what do you mean one of those nights? I'm just saying, let's let's see what we got going on oh, here, man. Shit. Castlar right. is in the chat. Um, this is a supernatural killer from the swamp that torments those that cross into its territory. That's yeah, right. pretty much. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about Hatchet, starring the the iconic, the legendary Kane Hodder, who we both yes. have had the ple pleasure of meeting, hanging yes. out with. Yeah, love it. Right. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, Val <laughs> has already given the rules because Val has rules. Nice. And you know what's going on. All right. Uh, Nathan's in the chat. I won't be able to make it tonight. We'll be watching Sledgehammer Horrors live. OK, well, enjoy. Nice. Enjoy. Thank you for stopping right? by, though. Uh, Brandon's in the chat saying greetings. What's going on? Nice to Hello. see you. All right. Uh, Val saying, I just saw number four of this franchise last week. Wow, is all I can say. All right. All right. Uh, Brandon, now this is actually a good point. Brandon is saying, I missed last week's Slasher Movie Club, so I didn't know what this week's pick was. Um, if that ever happens, uh, definitely, well, one, if you can, check out the replay. But if that ever happens, and if you are curious as to what the pick is, feel free to leave a comment or message me. As, and a lot of you guys, um, you know, are, are able to get a hold of me, whether it be on social or through comments. Um, but yeah, tonight is going to be Hatchet. It's going to be Hatchet. All right. Um, Eric's in the chat. I bought this one as a blind buy when it came out, just based on the trailer, which showed nothing in the DVD cover. It quickly became a new favorite. Yeah, man. Nice. I hear what you're talking it's about. A fun one. Yeah. I hear what you're talking about. Uh, my man Jason coming in strong already uh, with nice. a four dollar, four uh, five dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Jason. Um, yeah. And he's saying, "Hey, remember when Freddie Harris went all watch on Leo Michael Myers?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, good old Buster rhymes, man. All right, Buster has rules. That's true, man. Thanks so much, Jason. You're all yeah. right. Uh, and he's saying the Hatchet franchise is so much fun and awesome. Yeah, it man. Is. And we're really happy to um, to be, you know, covering this. And it's actually we're going to talk about it as we as we go along. But we're going to figure out how we're going to go through the rest of the franchise. But yeah, it should be it should be fun. It should be fun. Yeah. Um, let's just see. Uh, Russell's in the chat. Uh, Wayne's in the chat. Hello. What's going on? What's going on? Hey. Um, and J Jason <laughs> with a five dollar super chat saying, Remember when Michael Myers in part five was about to kill Jamie and Michael took off his mask and started to cry? That was a hoax, right? Yeah, it definitely was a hoax, it really was. I mean, total respect and, and props to Don Shanks who played Michael Myers. But yes, if if you yes. guys, if you guys, saw, representing. If, you, if you guys saw our part five episode of Halloween. Uh, when we went through the whole franchise, we had a blast. So definitely check that out. You know, there were some things that they did that was good, but they did some things that were missteps. And that damn mask, I'm telling was, you, yeah, they they got it. I'm telling you, that mask pisses yeah. me off sometimes. Um, <laughs> Neil's in the chat too. What's going on? What's going on? Nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> you guys are too funny. Uh, Marty McFly is in the McFly is in the chat. What's going on? Uh, ha hatchet one is great uh but they they get worse with each sequel oh okay all right uh, the second Katie's one was okay you know katie well, well yeah well we'll get to that hopefully soon um <laughs> yeah. katie's in the chat too what's going on Hi. and J jason man i love you man you <laughs> he's so funny Dang. thanks so much man he says night is a youtube a killer YouTuber shark in form oh, fit and tanks who gets his thumbs up from subs. Everyone and everything he lives screams too. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> mm. Coriander's like, what yeah. the hell's going on? What the hell is going on? Now oh, I get what's God. going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wayne. <laughs> oh man. 
Brandon saying, be right back, taking care of something. Oh, thanks, man. I like people letting us know what they're up to. Mikey saying, right. what's up, Nightwatch Zone? Hatchet is a great franchise. I'm so glad you're doing it. All right. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Eric, everyone's messing with us tonight. Uh, so did that actor who played Josh from Coriander's favorite horror movie, The Blair Witch Project. There you go. There you go. Eric, come on, man. Right? I thought we were friends. Right? Yeah. Oh, we, God. We, 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 we don't boys. talk about that movie around me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So listen, guys. Whew. Thanks so much uh, for the super chats, by the way, Jason. Seriously, we appreciate that. Let's get yeah. into this thing. So yeah. this is what we're going to do. We're going to do something different tonight. We're talking about Hatchet, and it's a franchise that's been around for, for, for a while. Um, you know, one yeah. of the newer, one of the newer slasher franchises, you know, but what I want to ask you guys in the live chat, first of all, what's your favorite kill from this movie? I want you guys put it in the live chat. Let us know what would your what was your favorite kill or death scene, however you want to word it and let us know because we want to have a discussion about it. Um, the second thing that I want to ask you guys, and we're just going to take these as they come. We may not get to everyone. Uh, but we'll see. Next thing I want to ask you guys is this. Is Victor Crowley one of the great horror icons? That's what I want to know. Okay, so we're putting that out there right now. We're going to give you guys, mm -hmm. us usually there's a lag in the live chats and so forth. So we're going to give you guys about 20 or 30 seconds to submit your answers. Mm, that's, that's an interesting where, question. That's why I asked it. because that's, that's a tough of, one. That's, yeah. Well, that's, well, it's not so much to you yet. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> you're on the yeah. panel. With I know. That's that's why I wanted to ask it because I wanted to get an yeah, idea of what, what people thought. Right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Absolutely. Good for you. Well, good for you too. Good for you too. <laughs> um, Katie is saying, uh, "I never seen the movie. I'll have to check it out." I definitely oh, it's think you should fun. check it out. Yeah. Yep. It's a fun movie. Eric Corey. saying, speaking of, speaking of coriander happy anniversary to jason lives hashtag justin for justice for me there you go there you go yeah. Wayne saying don't don't do a hatchet job of this night oh <laughs> i like that good one uh J jason is starting out i had a feeling he would yeah uh, and he is saying one. Favorite death scene, the jaw being ripped open. Yes, Victor is one of the greats. Coriander, what do you think about that death scene? Let, let's start there. And you can yeah. you can kind of describe a little bit more of it if you want. But what did you think when you first saw that death scene, how, how it was, was done, good. the practical? Yeah, I love, you know, I love practical effects versus CGI. Yeah, they probably used it here and there. But, mm. yeah. I mean, yeah. this for practice for the effects i loved it i loved it i loved the gore mm -hmm. i loved how mm -hmm. bloody and how it would splatter and you see guts and it was great yeah good death yeah yeah absolutely i agree i agree yeah. uh what what do you think of uh victor crowley being you know one of the greats is he is he there well you know he might be, you know, I guess you, it's, it, it's like, how many greats are there, you know? Well, that's what, that's what we're going to be talking about. That's why I wanted to ask it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> come, on, come on, man. <laughs> so, like I'm saying, you know, he could be. You know? Yeah. So. What, what, what do you, what do you think makes him uh, one of the greats? And, and what do you, what, what do you think's holding you back? That's what I want to know. Well, he, he, has you know he's killed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. He's only had how many movies? I don't know if I've seen them all. That's I don't know if I've seen them all. Um, mm -hmm. But what may you know? I don't know honestly. I guess um, I don't know. What do you think makes up a great? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you. Go on, man. <laughs> Um, I'm asking you. Obviously, I'll, I'll the definitely kills. throw my opinion. You know, mm -hmm. whether they're supernatural or not, no. You know, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, location, obviously, the setting of, of yeah. you know, um, uh, 
you know, and I guess really how many movies you have and how successful you've, you've become, you know, okay. or, mm-hmm. you know, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, put it this way. Who, who would you say is in, you know, some of your top icons? Well, for you me, know, other, obviously other, the, other, the guy other, on other, my other, head. Other, I know, but other than the obvious ones, that's what I'm getting at. Trust me, okay. we're going to get there. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> you know, is Pinhead, is he one of them? People think, yeah, no, yes, no. I think he should be there. Okay. Um, uh, that, uh, the clown dude, what the hell is that name? What's his name? Penny, Pennywise? No, because isn't, Art. well. Art the clown. Yes. But now that you say that, I think, yeah, Tim Curry should totally but he's only had one movie. That's a thing. So does that count, you know, as, or is well, it just some... because it's such a popular and, you know, well, for series, some people, for some people, it know, does. I'm, I'm, I'm asking yeah. you, what, what do you think? Yeah. You know? Then if it's, if I told, I totally think that Tim Curry, Pennywise should be on there. Yeah. Okay. And art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and, Are we and, doing and... series? Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. I'm just curious to what you think. Well, because Twisty you have an interesting was a pretty looking. fucked up clown in uh, American Horror Story Freaks. Okay. So I'm not saying he should be there, but I'm just saying as for a, a clown, you know, that mm-hmm. he, I just wanted to mention him. Um, okay. Candyman, I think, yeah, I think Candyman should totally be on that list. Okay. Um, and I could keep going, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Uh, so there's some <laughs> that's not uh, what we're here to talk about right well i'm just curious because yeah i'll, I'll let you know later i'll let you know later. okay uh, let, 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 let's see what else we got for some of the answers in here because I'm, I'm pretty uh curious uh neil is saying best kill in my opinion is the woman's face being ripped apart victor crowley looks like a cartoon character just terrible okay so this is what i want to get to now what do we think of his his design and stuff so now i'll get to the first question as well but i I will say that i think his design it's a little crazy it's like all right come on Well, it's almost like mask but a little more bubbly you know remember that movie mask in like the 80s yeah yeah but no, but I mean, even even his body, <laughs> no. though, even his body, though, is kind of like, I don't know if they were still having. Well, I don't want to say it because hey, there Eric's are people the with diseases that get misshapen. And, no, I know. I know. You but know, I'm just, birth I'm defects. Just, and... No, I know. Come on, I'm guys. Just, no, well, no, I, I know. <laughs> You're that, being but too I'm critical. Saying, well, yeah. l- l- hold on. Wait a minute. No, what I'm <laughs> saying is, is that I just think, you know, as a horror icon, you know, I, I just don't know if his look, you know, is he's is, almost is, kind of flyish. Yeah, but it's like, come on, man. Anyways, but let me he let me get burned. to the f- What do you think well, that's he- gonna do to you? I'm giving you the look. <laughs> All right, let me let me go back to what Jason was saying earlier. I and both of these guys, Jason and Neil, they were saying that the jaw rip was, you know, the top kill. I definitely think that was the top kill because when I first saw it, I was just like, what the hell is happening? Now, I don't know if I want to say that Victor Crowley is one of the greats, uh, but I do think I do think, you know, it, it's a conversation to at least t- have because, you know, the, the movie just has a lot of stuff going on, you know. So I do want to just answer that uh, for you guys. But so you're so you're you're fine with the look. You're good with the look. Uh, you know, these these movies are made for fun and entertainment and that's what I got, you know, it, it yeah. fit the movie right. and I'm a fan of Kane Hodder and I'm glad right. that he did another character and I'm that's glad true. it was, it was so disgustingly gory and bloody and yeah, yeah, I agree it was, with that. I absolutely loved all of it. The, the characters, right. eh, once we get there. Well, you know, okay. Some well, people let, could have been changed here and there, but well, let, well, we'll get into the characters in a second. Yeah. Um, because I think we should we do a little bit of that too. Uh, Eric saying favorite kill the woman's head rip. Uh, no, Crowley isn't one of the best or an icon yet. He hasn't been around long enough. 
uh, and needs a few more sequels. Yeah, I think I think he definitely needs, um, you know, at least at least two more sequels that kind of elevate, you know, him him a little bit. I mean, we we're not going to talk about the other movies tonight uh, and I haven't seen them all. So that's one reason. But I just don't know if they've made enough impact for him to be iconic yet. But if he so was I to make there was I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Let's not worry about the other movies. I'm talking about this okay. movie. <laughs> All right. But the Shoot. point is, I, I think I, th I think he needs at least, you know, one or two other movies that are good, you know, and have yeah. some type of buzz around them to start even think about being an icon. You know what I mean? Yeah. So sure. Um Val saying, I liked Marcus and Ben, and of course Victor. Oh, there you go. All right. Yeah. Mikey is 100% on board, saying he's 100% icon. All the movies are solid in the franchise. Great look. Good origin. Good actor playing him. All right. Yeah. Wayne saying uh, Victor Crowley isn't a horror icon yet. Needs to be well known, more well-known, more sequels, and get some mainstream attention. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Cody saying two months. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Uh, Jason with the two dollars super chat saying, "When does the student bodies watch party drop?" <laughs> wow, Jason, right? what is we, going we, on? I feel like I'm we, like getting picked on here. We, Buster, we, we have been we, we have bodies. been thinking about it. Well, Ugh. it's funny stuff, man. It's funny stuff. I would but um, not for the me. Commentary. The commentary nope. would be hilarious. What, what's going on, Dan? Yeah. How's it going? All right, Cody saying, oh "My the God, I'm still shaking my head over that." <laughs> oh man uh, right Wayne, Wayne saying Jigsaw is an icon before him he needs to be around longer I agree I agree uh, Jigsaw is definitely ahead um, yeah Jason, I forgot about him too and we're freaking talking about them so yep, he would Fridays. be on my list totally yeah uh, Jason with the two dollars super chat thank you so much saying sounds like we need a top horror icon video now Here's and, and Jason, and I know you know this. Now, we did a, 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 quite a long time ago now, we did um, a ranking of I think it was our favorite icons, tour icons. But we have been thinking about doing an updated um, episode of that. So if you guys want to see that and again, you guys know how we do this. We do it live, um, you know, wh whether or not that's good for the algorithm or not. I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. But anyways, but if you guys want us to do that live for a show. Uh, on the Nightwatch Zone, definitely let us know in the live chat because that's something that we have been talking about uh, a bit, you know, a bit. Uh, Brandon with a $2 super chat saying, the demon clown from Clown needs more mentioning. Ooh, mm -hmm. yes, that's a good point. I've never seen Clown. Ooh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, that might be something we'll have to talk about. Good call, Brandon. Thank you so much for that super chat. We, we appreciate that. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Clown. Uh, what's up, Ben? Nice to see you. Um, and Ben was saying he thinks that Crowley is a horror icon. He has lots of toys and merch and would love to see Victor Crowley versus Leatherface. They both live near <laughs> each other, one. Texas, Louisiana. I'm <laughs> sure there's a forest that crosses both states. <laughs> yeah. right. It's got to be, it's got to be an easier way to connect them than to connect Crystal Lake to Manhattan, right? <laughs> oh man. What? You didn't like that one? You know how some rivers can connect into the Dude, ocean? Dude, don't. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> you know, oh, you know there was, you know there was no way that you they know would leave that. a Crystal Lake on a boat. <laughs> you got the hooks for that, pussy cat? Who loves you, baby? That's all I gotta say to you. Once you they know. left that dog, you know, they hit Stop that it. little tunnel that took them right into the ocean. Don't you know? <laughs> what are you doing oh lord you know that they can't I'm connect not here. crystal lake stop it okay <laughs> jason's coming in hot with a super chat the tall man is an icon yes one of the great yes he you, is you, you are so right jason uh and by the way um check out my man eric hey internet eric here he's gone through the the phantasm uh movies 
getting into them, uh, which is really cool to see. Uh, we've gone through the Phantasm movies. Um, the first one is very well known. The other ones aren't talked about enough. And we just didn't have a lot of people that joined in on those those watches. But uh, they were great discussions, man. And Killian had never gotten into the franchise. And by the end of it, mm-hmm. he's a big fan of, of Phantasm. Yeah, so it was that really, was, really fun. That was great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So definitely check out check out Phantasm videos, guys. Anybody's Phantasm videos, not just ours, because mm-hmm. the tall man, Angus Scrim, rest in peace, played that character for what forty yeah. years be- right before he passed away. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, like Jamie's in the chat. Yeah, Jamie's in the chat. What's Hello. going on? Nice to see you, Jamie. Um, Eric saying the Leprechaun is a bigger horror icon than Victor Crowley, just based on longevity alone. That's true. Oh man, it's true. It's not on my list as. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Maybe for some, at, but right. I think. For me, I think if uh-uh. I, I think if you were to ask, if you were to take a poll, I think Leprechaun's going to be ahead of Victor Crowley. Would you agree with that? Not in my poll. <laughs> I'm not talking. I'm. All right, I'm going to play it again. Here we go. You got the hooks for that, pussycat? Who loves you, baby? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? (laughs) I'm not talking about your personal poll. I'm talking about, you know, you know, in the world or horror fans in general. Would, would eh, you, what, what I'm do you talking think? about me. No. Um, oh, man. I'm about to play another <laughs> clip. <laughs> uh, All right. So, shit. look, we've literally gone off the rails. Let's talk. I don't even know talk. what's going this on a, here. Let's let's talk about the movie a little bit. This is originally what Which Slasher movie? movie Club. Exactly. This was originally what Slasher Movie Club was intended oh, to man. be. Um, look, the, the basics of the story. Let's just get to the basics. you got yeah. a group of people that are on a boat tour in the swamp. They get stranded and Victor they Crowley do. lives there mm-hmm. and basically takes revenge on people that are near his house. But yep. what I like about the setup to this movie uh, in the beginning, you don't know what's going on the first time you see it, but you do know right. who that is. And that yeah. is Robert England and yeah, shit goes down and Robert gets killed. What the hell is going on? Do you, you killing my man? Yep. And then it mm-hmm. totally switches from there to friggin' a group of friends at Mardi Gras. They're getting drunk, yep. you know, just having a blast and so forth. And you Seeing always have to have of... that guy. You yep. always have to have that guy, Coriander, <laughs> who is right. a Debbie the Downer. And he's like, well, I don't want to keep doing this. I want to go and, you know, go and do a, bo- a haunted boat tour. You know, yeah. that sounds like a good idea. Uh, and, and and the funny thing, and Marcus, of course, is basically like, what are you talking about? We, we're we here in Mardi Gras. We're partying. People are throwing up and people are showing us their you know what. And it's like, wow. But the you know what? A, huh? here, 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 here's another here, here's another cameo that was really cool. We got the iconic Tony Todd. I mean, yeah. and now granted. Him and Robert didn't have a lot to do in this movie, but I just thought it was cool to have a movie where you've got Robert England, Tony Todd, and Kane Hodder. What the hell is going on? This is this is yeah. awesome. Yeah, talk about you know? icons. Yes, the icons, really, right? Yeah, I man. Mean, yeah, it's just really, really cool. But mm-hmm. anyways, um, so uh, Ben and Marcus, you know, they want to go on this this trip. And they eventually, uh, you know, Tony Todd says, we'll go and check this other place out. And this yeah. is how everything gets set up, you know. And then there's your boy, Coriander. This is where... My boy. Your <laughs> this boy. Is, this, is... <laughs> this is where it all started, where you got uh, Sean, who is, uh, you know, basically, uh, he's conning these people. You know what I'm saying? He Obviously. Doesn't know what, he, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's got this wacky ass accent. But I got to admit, I'm serious. I got to admit, it was funny. It was fun. And there were moments when I laughed. So I was really enjoying the movie so far with this setup. Um, Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like like Cody was saying earlier, then you got, you know, the uh, the uh, the guy with the the camera shooting the ladies and stuff like that. And they're they're supposed to be serious actresses and so forth. And I got to admit, man, 
there was some funny stuff in here too. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, this movie doesn't take itself too seriously, I guess is what I'm saying. No, it doesn't. And I think that that actually came off very, very well. Like, I mean, yes. and especially these two talk about bickering. All they did was bicker with each other and it was funny. Oh, yeah, of course, the, the blonde was totally ditzy and this and that. But mm -hmm. long story short, it's getting all these these people together to go on this boat trip, this uh, haunted boat tour. And so they get into the bus. you got an older couple. And then, of course, you've got our main our main final girl who's kind of sitting alone and we don't know exactly what her deal is. Now, all that being said, before we get to the point where they actually get to the swamp, what did you think of this setup? It was good and, so far. And, 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 and these characters. Um, yeah, you know, so far so good. I wish uh, the chick you just showed there, the one of the main people, mm -hmm. uh, her. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, she was okay. I mean... It would have been mm -hmm. nice to have someone else. Like, obviously, if Danielle played this part, it would have been Whoa. cool. Because, yeah, like I said, it's kind of weird with the connection in part two with Danielle and this chick here. Well, you know well, what I mean? We're not, let's, well, we're not. I jumping know. Well, I'm just saying. Jumping ahead. I can't. I, I don't can't even. Help I don't. It. I don't. I don't even remember part two, so I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. have it ruined for me. So, oh, but yeah, yeah. but what what did you think Sorry. of the other characters though? I didn't mind him, you know, the, the, the guy that, you know, broke up with his girl and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, I enjoy, and his friend there, those guys, those two were good. And, yeah. you know, I didn't mind the cast and those, the, the woo girls, I mean, the blonde, she was funny, you know, I enjoyed she her more than the, <laughs> than the brunette. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, besides that, you know, yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing I thought that was really cool is that it was good setup to get to where we had to go. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, there. And the other thing about it too is that it was very atmospheric. You know, it's nighttime. It's it's creepy. It's the damn swamp yep. and so forth. And they get to a point where they get stuck and they have to get off the boat. Now that was really it starts one of the sinking. First. Yeah, it starts sinking. And I thought that was a really cool scene because it's kind of like okay. What's going to happen? You got gators and all that type of stuff. So it was, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is I was really entertained uh, by this movie with this setup yeah. so far. And we haven't even gotten to Victor yet. So yep. let's let's pause right there. Let me just jump to the chat and uh, see what we got going on here. Skull Crusher's in the chat too. What's up, Sam? I like the Hatchet movies. Kane Hodder plays both Jason and Victor Crowley. That's cool. Yes, he does. It's true, man. It is so true. I agree. Yeah. Um. Neil, you gotta stop, man. It's time to bury the hatchet. <laughs> Neil always has these one-liners. And by the way, you know, uh, thank you to Neil and and Brandon and Dan and and everyone else. Katie was there uh, when we did our our, our uh, channel watch party series of Creep Show. We started last night. We're going to be continuing this on Sundays at eight. We had a blast. Again, if you are not a channel member or if you're not at our second level, which is the Jason Bourne level. Definitely, you got to do this. It was a lot of fun. We had a blast. We had, how many people did we have on the screen? We had like eight people. I think we had eight people on screen. Uh, we had some people in the live chat. Val was there too. Um, so it was a lot of fun. So we will be um, watching episode two this Sunday um, at eight. So definitely check it out with us. Um, it's for our channel members. So hit the join button. It was a lot of fun. And for you guys that were there, let, let me know too, because I know we were we did a lot of talking all over the place, but let me know how, how you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Dre's in the chat. What's up, Dre? Nice to see you. Hello. All right. Ty Lord's in the chat. What's going on? What's going on? Hey. All right. Uh, Cody with a $2 super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Saying nice. uh, Sam from Trick or Treat should be up there. You know, Sam definitely, you know, Sam's iconic in, in a way to me because the movie is so good and Sam has such an um, a unique look you know I, how I think many movies is there like two well there's only one as far as, is as, far it just as I'm aware one? of as far as yeah. I'm aware of you know but it was such a good movie Trick or Treat is so amazing I mean what do you think? I've seen it and mm -hmm. uh, for it to be so amazing, I guess I have to see it again because I I can't remember mm -hmm. it as being so amazing. So, huh. <laughs> e. <laughs> you got the hooks for that, pussycat? Who loves you, baby? 
You're gonna get the Ichigak. What? Ooh. What? I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I mean I get what you're saying, you know, but you gotta watch it again, man. Oh, it's a good e. movie. It's a yeah, good okay. Movie. Okay. It is a good movie. Um yep. Eric saying I'll be back on Phantasm with a part three video very soon. And now that I'm done with Shark Week, I need a break after all that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I know, man. Poor Eric. We got a lot of things to talk about. This Thursday we'll be doing our Venom stream. So as usual, oh, guys. Shit, that's this have Thursday? You, have, Wow, you said you said like that. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Your, have your notifications on, guys. <laughs> notifications on. Uh, Dre says, "Man, I remember seeing Phantasm in two thousand and seven, and I thought it was so fun to watch. It is. It, it's a really yeah. good one. Yeah, it is." Jamie's saying, "I can't put Victor Crowley on the same icon level as Jason or Freddy. I honestly didn't like the Hatchet films. Ooh, okay. He's definitely there not on go. the level of. Listen." As far as I'm concerned, and if you haven't seen my one of one of my latest videos saying who's in the, who's your top three, no one. It's going to be a long time before someone's at that level of Freddie, Michael, and Jason, in my opinion. Okay, um, it's gonna it's gonna take a lot for someone to get to that level because those are icons for forty years, forty years, and not only that, but they became such pop icons, pop culture icons. So. Um, I agree with you. Victor is nowhere near uh, Jason or Freddy's level. Um, but, you know, I do think if he if there was another movie or two uh, that was good, you know, and had some buzz, I think, you know, he definitely could be in a conversation. Yeah. Uh, Brandon with a two dollar super chat. Thank you. Random question night is kill your sibling. He is. He is. For as long as I can remember. <laughs> um, Tyler, no, he is. No, for real, he is. Uh, Tyler is saying Hatchet is an underrated new series. I try to tell people about it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> Steven's in the chat. What's up, Steven? Craven something to scare himself. And and by the way, hey. I know he, I know he wouldn't. Uh, you know, he we wouldn't expect this. But again, congrats to my man on six k subs. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, so well deserved, but I just want to make sure I said that cuz you rock, man. Um yeah. and he's he's saying I just had to stop in and say hi. You're all right, man. You're all right. Um <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Eric, gone off the rails, do those rails blew up long ago, my friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh Dre saying, I just remember he was just so exaggeratedly strong and how he kills the victims is shocking at times and sometimes unintentionally hilarious. That's, yeah, that's a good way to put it because sometimes it is hilarious in a weirdest way. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Uh, Jason, with a $5 super chat, thank you. Uh, uh oh, here it goes. There is a water channel from Crystal Lake to the ocean. Also, the Crystal Lake Police Department likes to leave bodies in the lake. All facts. Laugh out loud. <laughs> what, do, what do you think of that, Corey? Exactly. I'm okay. in total agreement. Total yeah. agreement. Okay. <laughs> you, it guys is facts. you guys win. You guys win. Luck is in the chat saying I I enjoyed Hatchet more than the CW's Friday the 13th remake. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Oh, there you go. All right. Uh, let's see. Skull Crusher saying Candyman, Freddy Krueger, and Jason reunite in Hatchet. Last time the three of them were together in a movie was in Wishmaster, if I'm correct. Yeah, I believe you're right. I believe you're right. See, I haven't seen Wishmaster in a long ass time. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Val, again, uh, just another way you can support the channel is becoming a member. Thank you so much, uh, Val. I appreciate that putting that in the live chat and it's so true i mean we're having a blast uh, we're having some really fun stuff and last night <laughs> that was good stuff man that was really good uh, i enjoyed that with the uh, with the members and the patrons um yeah. but let's let's get back to the story a little bit so they're stuck in the swamp they're walking around and then we get the big info dump on the background of victor crowley this first trick. of all yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. First, first of all, what did you think of his origin story um, that she, t you know, she was basically telling the group, hey, you guys yeah. don't know where you're at. What, what do you think about the origin story of Victor Crowley? I mean, it, it's tragic. Mm -hmm. You know, this this poor kid was 
formed, obviously mentally not all there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm sure, you know, whatever people probably picked on him and shit like right. that. So that's what that's what Mary Beth had said. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, I felt bad for him. And the fact that his father, you know, these fucking, of course, rude kids set the mm -hmm. place on fire you know i don't think they were trying yeah. to but it caught on fire that's and right. his father was out what like chopping wood and whatever he was doing he had that yeah. axe the hatchet mm -hmm. and yeah he accidentally killed his kid so right yeah right. it's Hit a right tragic yeah man it's a tragic story yeah mm -hmm. and of course kane hotter playing two roles you gotta love that yeah that's great right that's great yeah yeah but at this point and before victor even emerges um you know, uh, one one of the uh, the older folks, he got bit on the leg by the gator, and so he can't move. And so everyone's <laughs> wondering, well, how do we get out of here? Because they can't go in the water because the boat yeah. has sunk. There's gators yeah. in the water. And they're like, yeah. where's the only path to go? And Mary Beth is like, we got to go past Victor Crowley's house. So they start walking that way. And sure as shit, he comes out of nowhere, which I thought there were some really great moments where he well, just jumped out. Well, first he would hear, right, his little groans and moans. Right. Like, what was he saying? Like, daddy. daddy. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. But he appears out of fucking nowhere, and yeah, he, he just goes to town. Then, of course, it's that scene that we uh, that everyone really, really enjoys where he does the face rip um, right. uh, to the wife. And, well, first, you know, with the guy, uh, the husband, he just chops. He literally chops him in half. It was crazy yes. stuff. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's just carnage. It's total carnage. And yeah. it's, it's, it's again, it's I think it's done well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, Cody with the super chat. Thank you saying head it out, y'all. Peace. Thanks so uh, much, man. Good we're night. Glad you, yeah, we're glad you could stop, stop in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Brandon saying, uh, I had a good time. It's really a cool, good idea watching these creep show episodes as a party. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really, really do. And I'm so glad you enjoyed it. We thought it was going to be a fun thing to do um, to kind of hang out, you know, with with our, our, our patrons and, 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 you know, some of the channel members, uh, the second level channel members and so forth. It, it was really, really fun to do. And, and definitely... Um, it'll give us ideas for some other stuff to do, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Jamie saying Sam from Trick or Treat is an icon for sure. I have a dancing Sam figure in my studio. He's so cute. He is, isn't he, though? He is. <laughs> Val saying it was a it was a good time last night at the watch party. Thank you. Thank nice. you. Thank you. Uh, Brandon saying, oh, Coriander's breaking my heart. Trick or Treat is my top Halloween movie. No. All right. <laughs> I don't mean to do that. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. you probably just have to rewatch it, probably. Yeah, right. I'm not saying yeah. I didn't enjoy it, but I just yeah. don't. You don't remember? Just... Yeah, no, kind yeah. of. I know bits we'll, and pieces, but we'll just from it. one movie, it's it's just interesting that people would put this character on their list. That's all. Well, I mean, look at Nightmare on Elm Street or Halloween 78 or that's Hellraiser. Different. That's or different. Child's that's Play. Different. That's different. Look that's at, different. How is that different? Look at Child's Play. As soon as Child's Play was came out, Chucky was instantly talked about in the same conversations with Freddie and Michael and Jason. Yeah, well, look at how he was popular. He had a lot of movies. Uh, I'm talk I'm ta I'm talking about when the first movie came out before there were any sequels whatsoever. He at yeah. least where I where I was living when I was a kid, people were already saying well, where I was this, living. This, no, this this is the next this is the next icon. You know. Now, granted, I never Chucky no, had I, a lot of personality where Sam, yeah. you know, doesn't talk. You know what I mean? So so it, that could be part of it too. But it's not know? like there was a lot of time in between the second movie for you Child's know? Play. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So well, anyway, yeah. Well, Neil I just saying, find it interesting, and 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 I, yeah, I guess I'm trying to defend my. <laughs> well, no, I'm not it's saying fine. it's a bad movie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's drop it. <laughs> Let me get to these super chats, man. You messing up my flow. Neil saying, oh, uh, "Trick or Treat" was an instant classic, and I hope they leave it alone and never make another one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. It it was a good movie, and I think it should stay as one movie. You know, although if another one comes out, I'd watch it. Carrie's in the chat too. What's up? Saying, hey, yeah. hey guys, still at work. 
but just popping in to say hello. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, Carrie saying, I love the Hatchet films. It's such a fun watch. Uh, it's over the top, yes. gory fun. Yes. Sure is. I agree. Yep. Uh, Jason's in the chat saying, what's up? I gave you a thumbs up. Hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much. And hopefully everyone okay. has given a thumbs up. Um, if, if, if Val or anyone could give us a, a count on that, that would be great. But hopefully uh, you guys have liked the video. That would definitely help support the channel. Uh, what's going on? Flamethrower is in the chat. Nice to see you. Nice Hi. to see you. Welcome, welcome. Um, Eric was saying Victor's origin was very sad, and it was nice to see Kane do something outside of the makeup. Yes, yeah. I, I agree. It always is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I, I enjoyed him in Jason Goes to Hell. Okay, so... <laughs> All right. Jason's coming in. Uh, that's Jason Dyer, by the way, with a $2 super chat saying this franchise suffers from not being in theaters. That's a great point. Yeah. I think that that, that was, they very, should do that. Put that in mm -hmm. the theaters now. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be. That's a good point, man. Thank you so much for that. A drive in. That would, that would be a great be movie too. for the drive in. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Carrie saying, I agree uh, with Daniel Harris being a better Mary Beth, but she brought more aggression as she should because she's avenging her family's deaths. Yeah. All right. Very, well, that's, cool. what, that's what confused me, too, is it's like this chick was doing the same thing, looking for her father and brother. You know, yeah. maybe it's from a different family, you know, because I been don't victims know. From <laughs> generations upon generations. No, I don't right. know how many generations. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't know. And I want to watch the movie. So that's as far as I want to get into that. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Eric, Eric saying, I think people love Sam because he's cute, but he's only had one movie. Sorry. He needs a bit more than that to be an icon. There you go. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, but now, so we get that first kill and I want to, you know, just kind of run through uh, this part of it, you know, pretty quickly. Cause it basically from here on out is about this group that is trying to yeah. survive in the swamp. And Victor Crowley is literally picking them apart. Yeah, and, 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 and the cell I mean, phones yeah, yeah. don't work. <laughs> what was that? No, I'm just agreeing with you. Keep going. <laughs> cell phones don't work. There's nowhere to go. They're running around in circles. Uh, you've got that really funny scene where they hear the raccoon in the bushes. And I got to admit, <laughs> this scene was great because nobody wants to deal with the bushes because they hear this sound. And they're all looking around, and the way that yeah. the, the the attack happens, he just appears, man. And he literally, I mean, good God, she she got it pretty bad, man. Yeah. It was really, really. But had, you like know, a sander. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right to the face, man. It was yeah. some crazy stuff. Yeah. And then I also that was a good death. Yeah. Yeah, I also enjoyed the scene in the cemetery when they were running from him. And again, this movie had a lot of great stuff, great ch chase scenes, great scare scares, uh, great gore, uh, practical effects. I mean, it had everything that, that you'd want. And at the end, you know, when they were going to light them on fire. And once again, Kane's always being put on fire, damn it. Yeah. You know, but. He is. Good for him, a, though. Right. As a, Being burned, as a, you know, doing a stunt like he did and still mm -hmm. do what he does and. Right. That's fucking brave shit, man. I probably would never have been set on fire again after that shit happened. Well, no. you know, the thing of it is being a stunt man and and I remember him mm -hmm. saying this many times. I mean, that's that's a passion, you know what I mean? So to You could be a stunt to, man, but have someone else get put on fire. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is that's what he wants. <laughs> Look, man, that's what he wants to do. He wants to get back on I'm the horse, saying. so to speak. I because get it. He had the accident. I'm commending him for that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, you know, I think it's it's admirable of him to do it. And uh, interestingly enough, this is where Definitely. I was going with it. This is where I was going with it because I, I, I keep getting sidetracked here. But John <laughs> Carl Buechler, who was the um, director of Friday Seven, he yeah. also worked on the special effects, uh, you know, for this film, the practical effects and so forth, stunt work and stuff. And um, so it was kind of like a little bit of a reunion because, again, you know, Kane's playing this character that has parallels to Jason and also doing the fire burn sequence. So just interesting stuff uh, for this film. You know, it's just really mm -hmm. I think it's cool. I think it's cool stuff. Um, Brandon saying before Sam, there wasn't a single image that represented Halloween like Santa with Christmas. 
He is just a symbol of the holiday, and Halloween is my favorite day, so I love the film. Well, that's a yeah, I, that's a great way to explain it. I understand that. Yeah, Jamie's saying I feel like Sam is an exception though because he literally represents the spirit of Halloween. Pair it with that look and his viciousness, he's an icon to me. Laugh out loud. I hear you. All right. Uh, Eric saying I think Knight needs a new video cl clip. A train going off the rails to play it every time it happens in the stream, complete with sound effects. <laughs> that'd be good i might have to do that man uh neil saying hatchet one and two got a theatrical release but the numbers were awful well there you go there you go um yeah and eric talking about uh, john carl buchler you know he was the jack cracker in the boat drinking his piss it was funny man yeah, it was so funny right yeah uh, and we got a five dollar super chat from jason Saying, is Jack Torrance an icon? Technically, only one movie. Trick or Treat is awesome. So Hatchet 2 review coming out tomorrow. Yes. Hatchet <laughs> 2 review will not be tomorrow. Well, one thing we're, we're thinking about is whether to do the rest of the movies on Monday nights or to do them on a different night. And of course, as most of you all know, uh, we got a lot, st lot of stuff going uh, multiple times a week. So we got to still figure that out, but we do want to talk about the other movies in the series because, um, of how this one was, you know what I mean? Uh, but thank you so much, Jason. We appreciate that, man. Yeah. Seriously. Now, Coriander, what do you think of the ending? You know, when we get to the point where <laughs> you've got, well, what's so funny? <laughs> no, I'm just, what? I'm just remembering, you know, you when watching oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. so we've got uh ben um uh and mary beth yeah. and 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 you know they're basically just trying to figure out you know what to do um yeah. and they get to the point where you don't see victor right mm -hmm. so take me through how you and how you what you think of the ending the finale when they're in the boat yeah okay yeah you know you think they made it, you know, right. and they're, they're thanking each other. You know, he's thanking her for, you know, not letting me give up because mm -hmm. right when his buddy got killed, he was ready to just, yeah, to give die up. too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then next thing you know, <laughs> which, you know, just like Jason, Victor comes jumping out of the water and grabs the chick and rips right. well it's funny because which i remembered you know you see a hand reaching in the water and yeah. she's grabbing for the hand right because she's she's in it and when she when she gets pulled up it's victor holding that dude's arm helping her up mm -hmm. yep. and you know she's you know he's dying and she's gonna be dead too so i thought it ended great yeah 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 and then it cuts it, it, off <laughs> Yeah, it abruptly too. Yeah, like I, I, I thought that was really, really cool the way it ended. I mean, it had those yeah. Friday, it had those Friday vibes because you had this really nice, uh, you know, uh, serene Peaceful. type of yeah mm -hmm. music and so forth. And yeah. then all of a sudden, and I knew it, I knew it. I no mean, ripples I had, in the water, nothing. You right. Know? Yeah. I, you yeah. know, obviously, I, I had seen this movie, but it had been a long time since I had seen it, so I forgot some of the details. But yeah. As soon as the water <laughs> scene came up, I was like, yeah, they're they're playing us for Friday. Now, I will say this, and I want to ask you, and I also want to ask the chat. I don't think the scene came off as well as Friday, okay? I think I think that Friday did it better, and not just because oh, it was yeah. first. Not just because it was first, because I know a lot of people say, well, of course, you know, we, we, we expected it because of how Friday ended. But I think mm -hmm. that, that Friday handled it a little bit better. What, what did you think about it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I love Friday the 13th. So, yeah, this is just, you know, Kane, obviously, I think Jason is like probably Kane's favorite character that he's mm -hmm. played, in my mm -hmm. opinion. I don't know if that's true. Um, but, you know, I think it's great that he's, you know, given little tributes to him here and there. You know, yeah. I think it's yeah. fitting. I didn't mind it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for you guys in the live chat, let, let us know what you thought of the ending, uh, how it came off. And also, uh, did they do it better than Friday, the original Friday the 13th? Because uh, I'd be pretty curious to see what people think. Um, Jinchin Ninja's in the chat. What's up? Good What's morning. Up? Yeah. 
Uh, Brandon saying, uh, have you reviewed or did a watch party for Trick or Treat and Krampus? No, we have not. Not yet. <laughs> But trick or treat is on the list, um, and yeah. we and we've talked about Krampus too. Krampus uh, of doing uh, it. This would we have if we do Krampus. Oh my God, we're gonna have to have M back on because she's probably traumatized this poor girl when I showed uh, her this movie. I oh know. Man. I don't know if she still feels that way today. You know? right. But yeah, <laughs> that's too right, funny. Right, right, right. All right. Um, <laughs> Brandon saying, is anyone else not a fan of how these hatchet films just end abruptly? Oh, good question. Good question. Um, Turtle Doves in the chat. What's going on? What's going on? Saying, hey, what's going on? All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> Jason saying, Friday was better, but so much props to Mr. Hodder for doing them. Yes, yeah. I agree. I agree. Very, very cool. Uh, Russell also saying uh, Friday the 13th was uh, a better ending. Yeah, I think I think yeah. with Friday, mm -hmm. I think I think what was good about Friday is they held the scene a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And the music, um, although in Hatchet, it was kind of that serene, peaceful type of music. But in Friday, it was like I said, sometimes music choices make all the difference. It was just one of those um you know, music pieces that was really lulling you into feeling safe. Yeah. And yeah. again, you got to give credit to Adrian King too, because you know, the, yeah. the actors and actresses make the movies a lot of times. Yeah, they do. And she, she was just so, you could just tell she wasn't even talking, but you just, you could just tell that she was so relieved that the night was over, that she beheaded Pamela mm -hmm. and now she's on a boat safe, you know, yeah. and so forth and so forth. And then just the way it happened, that boom, and, you know, Ari Lehman right. jumps up out of the water and grabs her. And also the music as it happened, that dun, 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 you know, and it was like, wow, you know, it was How'd just, that go? you know what it went like. Um, <laughs> Come on, I wanted to hear it again. Eric said, the original Friday <laughs> ending was so much better. Great jump scare. And then uh, was it a dream end? Hatchet just ended with Victor screaming at the camera. Kind of lame. There you yeah, go. it was a, Friday was definitely a dream end. Yeah, I Was think so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the great thing about it is it was open-ended. I think, like I said, yeah. man, Friday, a lot of people don't give enough credit um, to the Friday movies. Uh, but I, I do think there was a lot of great decisions that they made um, in, in yeah. so many of the sequels and, and the original. I enjoy okay. them all pretty much, man. Yeah. So as yeah. usual, let's get to Brass Tax here. What we're going to do is is rate this. We're going to either say that you can recommend it, meaning it was an excellent film and you need to watch it. We're going to chance it, saying that eh, it was okay. You can take it or leave it. <laughs> or skip it, meaning that it is dark territory and don't ever think about it again. All right, Coriander, what are we going with? So I'm going to recommend it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. I agree. I agree. It yeah. was a fun movie. It was some great kills great gore um i love the setup you know having it in the swamp and the way that the characters got to that point i think was very very good and there were mm -hmm. funny moments like these characters you know they were they were pretty good a almost all the characters were pretty good and had funny moments so i gotta recommend it as well no doubt about it whatsoever for me for me yeah. so if you haven't seen hatchet um or you haven't seen it in a long time um, I think you should check it out. And this is definitely, and I said this to Coriander, this is definitely a movie that we might have to do a watch party on this one too. <laughs> Seriously. It was, it was, it was funny. You, it was really yeah. funny. Yeah. What were you going to say? Nothing. Continue. <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you going to say? Nothing. Oh man. Neil saying, I, re I recommend you take no chances and skip it. <laughs> Neil's not a fan. <laughs> uh, Steve, that's funny. Steve, Steven says recommend it. Val says nice. recommend it. Nice. Eric says recommend it. Yes. Brandon saying recommend it. All He's right. saying chance it. Oh, Brandon saying chance it. I'm sorry. I was looking at the. Uh... Look, man, I'm reading Close, a lot though. of things at once. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Well, you know, I think when you say chance it, um, you know, there have been movies that were kind of in that level for me. And there are times that some of those movies, you know, they became movies that I just never really watched again. And there was a couple of those movies that did become um, movies that I, you know, came to enjoy. So, yeah. uh, 
Carrie saying recommend for sure. Ninja saying recommend for sure. All right. Nice. Very cool, guys. All right. So next week, we're going to be talking about next week, what we're going to be doing for SMC next week. And um, by the way, guys, thank you so much. Uh, this was a very fun conversation, a very lively uh, chat, which is um, <laughs> ultimately the, the way we wanted, we um, wanted. Yeah. To, to do this. So for our next episode we're going back in the day i you know i've been i've really been enjoying um and i think dre had said it on one of the comments and hopefully you guys feel the same way in the live chat but dre when we did blood and black lace uh last week you know he was talking about how you know you guys are doing so many different things you know what i'm saying you're doing yeah. modern stuff you're doing popular things you're doing niche things you're doing things from the 60s the 70s and so forth yeah, he's like yeah. i He's like, I just love the variety. And yeah. it's really interesting because these last several weeks we've talked about modern slashers. And mm -hmm. then it just and it just happened like this. And then we pull back to like old school slashers. And it's yeah. it's, it's been really, really fun how it's all uh, came out like that. But anyways, next week we're going back to the old school. And for some people, they might have remembered when we did this as a watch party. Uh, I think there was maybe about three months ago two months ago something like that but we are going to be talking about when a stranger calls Ooh. that is when a stranger calls. yes wow. so that's going to be really really interesting and as far as i remember this movie is available streaming it might even be on youtube i, I can't remember that but um it's 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 an interesting uh, movie and i can't wait to discuss it with you guys so please if you can yeah. it, and remember, guys, we watch these movies before we talk about them because obviously we have yeah, to do, we do. That. So you guys, the contract is set in ink. So you guys have seven days to watch this as well. <laughs> um, hopefully you can. Um, but When a Stranger Calls, that'll be what we do for next Monday. So it'll be really, really interesting. Yeah. Uh, Eric says, cue the train wreck clip. <laughs> nice. Uh, Ninja saying, ooh, haven't seen that one in a while. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Carrie saying, ooh, I love both, the original and the remake. Ooh. Nice. And Neil saying, yes, climbing back out of dark territory. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. So anyways, guys, that's what, what we're going to be doing for next week. As usual, please uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about Hatchet. We've had a this has been a very lively conversation with you guys, um, and and I we couldn't get to all of the comments, but we got to a, a pretty much uh, a, a majority of them. But in the comment section, let us know what you think about it, favorite kills, uh, what you think of the franchise in general, what you think of Victor Crowley as an icon. If you're not a fan of this movie, um, let us know why, and also let us know if there's anything redeeming about the movie. So that would be really cool. Yeah. Um, Stephen is still with us. Giving us a smile. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, Brandon saying, seven days. Are you crawling out of our TVs if we don't make it? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, be, and before Watch I out. do that, and before I do that, you're going to hear a whisper like, seven days. You know? <laughs> so hey. just, <laughs> oh, my God. That was an awesome movie, man. It was an awesome <laughs> movie. Yeah. Um, th thank you, Val. Reminding people to leave us a comment. Uh, that really does... Uh, help to make a difference guys it does especially yeah. that let me just say this and i'm probably going to talk about this more on thursday um but with with live streams youtube really does not like live streams <laughs> you know they don't really push those 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 videos out um so you know we really are fighting against the grain with with our live stream episodes so if you're able to comment uh like the video and even better if you can share it out that'd be great too so anyways I'll be talking about that maybe more on Thursday on my morning stream. So, but this was fun. This was fun. So hopefully you guys had a blast too. We're going to be talking about um, when a stranger calls next week. So please, please check that out. We'll have a nice discussion about that. So anyways, we will catch you guys later. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you are the night watch. Peace. Watch it. Mm -hmm.